Today we're going to be going over how to make this easy night vision effect that you can apply to your music videos today. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our footage a little bit lower quality so the night vision looks better in my opinion. The first thing we're going to do is go to file, new, sequence, and we're going to create a new sequence that's at a lower quality. Um, standard definition is 720 by 480 so that's what we're going to do. Tap OK. And then you should have a new box sequence here. Then we're going to take this clip, we're going to control C, copy, control V, paste it, should be here. And as you can see here, a little too big right now. Go into effect controls, we're going to zoom out and we're going to resize it so it fits screen. And then after that, we're going to select in and out. We're going to render this out, O plus M. And the settings don't matter too much here. I would just say export it out. After that, you should be able to bring your exported sequence back into the original sequence that you made. And as you can see here, it'll be like this small box now. And now we're just going to scale it back up. And as you can see here, in comparison to this first clip, put up a, a full screen. In the first one, the quality is much higher than the second one. The second one's taking a dip in quality because you're exporting at six, 720 by 480 and you're pulling it up. Now that that's done, we're going to go into the effects tab and we're going to get tint. And as you can see here, this is white. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to map white. I'll take map white. I'll bring it to green. I've already got a very nice here. The next thing I would do, go to mosaic, drag mosaic onto your clip. You'll see that it's a very blocky. And then you can just bring this up. Now, if, if you got to play around with it a little bit. You could do 150 by 150. 150 by 150 looks a little too crazy. So I usually up the increments by a hundred um, until it gets towards sort of look that I actually um, am okay with. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to get posterized time. We're going to take that down and we're going to get the frame rate and we're going to take it down a bit. I, I might take it down to 20 from 24. See how that looks. It looks it looks insane now you could end the effect off right here what i like to do sometimes is you know you can get glow you can just get any kind of glow. give vr glow here just just brighten it just a tiny bit if you really want to to give it a little bit more oomph a little bit more sauce what you can do is you can take an overlay and just put that over top as well now I got this from a pack which costs money, but you don't have to do that. There are plenty of nice overlay packs online. You just have to look up CRT overlay or VHS overlay and you should probably find something, but you're gonna take an overlay here, literally just put it on screen. See, that's already going, like that's going, that's going crazy. Um, one thing I might do though is take Lumetric color. Actually, no, you don't have to do a elementary color. Um, I might take the opacity, just bring it down a tiny bit. And you know what? We, we are still going to get elementary color. Just bring down the highlights a tiny bit as well. It gets kind of bright. May actually change the tint as well to make it a little bit more more of a color that sort of fits it. Put it on the green side, greener side of things. There we go. Yeah, that's insane. You, you of course, don't have to use very specific overlays. Sometimes it looks better with the overlay. Sometimes it looks better without. But just experiment, have fun. Um, and you'll get a nice, cool night vision overlay. Guys, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more. Bye.